Uh, hi, my name is Safia. Uh, I just finished my SPMs and I would like to know more about becoming an aircraft engineer. Okay, uh, hi, nice to meet you, Safia. My name is uh, Yap okay, from Asia Digital Engineering, a uh, subsidiary of Asia Bahats. Okay, uh, what you want to know about the uh, aircraft engineering? Well, Mr. Yap, the first thing I would know is um, what is the pathway to becoming an aircraft engineer? Okay, uh, for uh, SPM school leavers, there's obviously uh, two uh, pathway for you to join the industry. First one is that you have to attend the uh, training from the approved training organizations. Okay. The other one is uh, you can join the structure program from the uh, airline or MRO in Malaysia. Okay. Uh, for the approved training organizations in Malaysia, there's a few numbers of them such as uh, uh, MIAT, okay, Malaysian uh, Institute of Aviation uh, Technology, UniKL. Uh, apart from it, uh, you have uh, ATMA College, uh, SETS, and APR, and so on. Okay, for the structured programs uh, offered by the airline or MRO, that will be like a trainee or apprenticeship program. So both will uh, train you in uh, theoretical and uh, practical parts. So uh, the duration will take up to two to five years, depending on which trade you are going. Uh, where do you recommend students get the training from? Okay, uh, I can't recommend which one is the better or, uh, or not so good but uh, what I can say is that all approved training school is approved by our uh, uh, authority so they have their standard and the, uh, it's getting approved by the authority is not easy so I think the competency and their standard is there so you can choose whichever you like and of course, for the structured uh, apprenticeship program by the airline or MRO, it's still the same thing. So uh, both or all the alternative will provide and uh, turn out a competence uh, engineer. Yeah. That's interesting to know. Um, the next question is, what is uh, the job scope for becoming an aircraft engineer? For licensed aircraft engineers, the typical routine daily uh, task is that when you're rep reporting to works, okay, so you are reporting to your lead engineers and then get to know what is the task that is planned out for you. Okay, so we have uh, both uh, line maintenance and bridge maintenance basically. So for line maintenance, you are attending to the aircraft transit, okay, like doing all the light check and then uh, uh, attending to the defects and then doing the refueling, the walk around and ensuring that the aircraft is departing for flight, okay, in a safe manner. But for the base maintenance, uh, it's more like you are in a uh, factory, I can say, okay, because you have a target works and how many tasks to be completed to ensure that the aircraft heavy check is completed on time. That's interesting too. Yeah. Uh, okay, the last question is, what are the skill sets needed for one to become an aircraft engineer? Okay, for the skill set, apart from the uh, basic knowledge that you have, uh, you must have a good understanding on the uh, STEM subject, okay, like the science, the mathematics, okay. Uh, apart from that, is that, that you have to have the uh, your own attitude that is uh, attention to details, and then you have to have a good analysis skill, okay, because you are uh, maintaining the aircraft which is very complex in their system and the, how they operate. Okay, yeah, I think, I think that's the most important uh, skill set that you need. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Mr. Yap. Uh, it's good to know and learn about the things that, need, that are needed to become an aircraft engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope to become a successful engineer like you one day. You're welcome. Uh, I hope that you get all the info and then, uh, I mean, you can ask me anytime if you need more on that. Thank you and uh, I uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. What I learned from my conversation with Mr. Yap today was to become a good uh, aircraft engineer, you have to have discipline in yourself to make sure you become a good aircraft engineer. You get to be a part of a team that gets to travel and follow the plane wherever it goes to make sure it works well because you're carrying many lives. Thank you.